I'm back with another favorites video so I'm not gonna um, do a lot of introduction this time I'm just gonna get to it um, as usual there's a few stuff um, that I've been loving from the last month so I hope you enjoy them um, so the first one is this meow illustration um, notepads so they have released these note notepads um, and what I really love about them is that it's not only one kind of paper so it they, they have four different types of paper as you can see this one has a little bit more texture to it there's a white one that has threads throughout there's a slightly darker one what color is this I'm not sure and then there's slightly more like peachy like pinky ones and this one I perforated so you can kind of just like take it out I mean like use just that part of things um, and that's not the only one she has this this is my fa this one is my favorite one but they also have a few more different types so these three are some of the other types they have exact same paper so there's like four different types of paper and I just really really like kind of um, the design especially this one and I really love like the tiny bits because it fits really nicely to my A6 journal let me see if I can show you I think I've used it on some of my spreads just have to like try to find it yeah so I used it on that one did I use it on anything else or was it too new I'm gonna look at my other journals to see if I've used them somewhere else I just like it's just they're easy to use I can use this up for some this one as well and I think is that it yeah, that might be it but I really really love it I just feel like it's very um, easy to use and I love that it comes in like four different types of paper as you can see like I'll just show to you again really quick but those types of paper makes me feel like I'm getting four different notepads and not to mention that each of these can actually um, you can tear it off and use it by itself as well keep on um, going out of frame I'm sorry um, but yeah, it's really really nice and I really love it. So um, if you haven't checked them out You should check them out because they are one of my favorite this month Also, my favorite this month is this tracing paper um, Roll from journal pages. It's kind of this is my first tracing paper roll. I'm pretty sure um, And they, they, they're not sticky at the back. So basically, it's just like a roll of paper tracing paper and they have different types of designs this one um, interestingly have designs that are like colored and also have designs that are just like white oh, I'm, just, I'm gonna un I have to unroll it later <laughs> oh my god this is so long so they have these that are just like white on the tracing paper a look which I really really love so initially when I first got this tape I thought it will only contain the white stuff because I actually really like the look of like white matte tapes or like white on vellum and things like that but they actually included all the other colors as well as the white one so I guess you're getting two in one um, you can also if you're not a fan of white in general and you generally like um, journal a lot on white paper you can actually get just the colored version but like you know I always journal in different types of paper and I really love colored paper so um, I actually really like the white one and um, in the beginning I was like oh I actually just wanted the white one but now you know what I don't mind it because they there's so many designs on this one so yeah I really like this one as well I think I used it on like a, one of my um, spread on this one what is it? like I used it on that one like it, as you can see like it's just really nice on colored paper or white paper whichever one you want 
so really like that one for this month as well so that's another one on still still on the topic of tapes this is one of the new tape that i bought um i'm gonna do a caveat in, in saying that this i've only seen in one place everywhere else has stocked out so i will try to find um a place that still sells them but um i'm not 100 percent sure it's still kind of like available but these is the same it's from the same creator that does one of my other favorite pet tape i think um the creator is called ds if i'm not wrong but uh, i'm not 100 percent sure but i would have to check that and like get back to you guys when i know exactly who the creator is because i really actually really like this pet tape so the these are from i think the same um creator and i've just really love this like type of illustration so i won't get too much into this because i'm pretty sure i've already featured this in one of my stationary favorites before but they're of the same creator the only thing that um i like the, on, the only thing about it is that they only have glossy kind of um, pet tape but it's not gonna deter me because I really really love the designs so this one has a lot of like um, document based stuff and books lots of like ve very vintage little um, pieces lots of tiny little pieces though so if you're not the type that really likes fuzzy cutting this one might be a little bit like you know too much for you but i actually really love the design that's it it's already like it it loops already so it took me so hard to find this one but i'm so glad to have it in my hands because the it just i don't know something about it like i really love uh, natural looking pet tapes and this one just looks so good um i will show you i think i've used it on one of my weekly spreads so i'll show you that in a bit after i finish rolling this over there's a lot of like very nice muted colors on this i really love how there's a lot of like green as well i'm really really into green these days for some reason i don't know why because green has never been my favorite color it's just like i don't really like grass kind of green and then the other part uh, types of green i can um i don't mind but the grass kind of green is not my fave but let me show you guys with these because i did do a spread using some of those so this spread i use like a lot of the elements of that tape because i really wanted to use it um half of it was um a calendar like himakuri style calendar that my friend job did for like a printable and i've been really loving using it as well um but i i was going to include that on today's favorite as well but um <laughs> It's only on for August. He he he's, he only has it for August, so I don't know if I should include it because it's not technically September, even though I did use it in September because I'm eternally catching up with my um, memory keeping journal. This is a memory keeping journal, and I'm usually very behind when it comes to like catching up with this. It's actually a little bit sad. I'm always almost at least like two weeks behind on um this journal but also i don't mind that like i do it when i stream and everything and it's just like a nice little journal to just do things on but yeah so um so that pet tape has been really lovely as well and i've been really loving using that and yeah i'm so glad to actually have it because i've been hunting it for a while so that's one of my favorites as well Another favorite is this JNL Slow Living Collection. So I've had these two for a while and I've been really liking them. So I decided, you know what, I think I want the full collection minus the book one because I didn't really like the look of that because there's just so much line that it feels a little bit more distracting. So I'm still 
um, on a hunt for a champagne to complete the collection but I feel like these are a very kind of like because lots of my stamps are just like flowers and there's so many flower stamps out there so I feel like whenever there's stamps that are like of everyday things like these it's just so much easier to use I think I, I used it a lot but I <laughs> I can't even remember what I used it. I'm pretty sure I used it on these when I used to stamp a lot. Like I keep forgetting to stamp these days. But I'm pretty sure um, if I flip through a few months back, I've used it for some of these pages. I think one of these pages must have it. Like that one is being used. That's the diffuser one that I used for that and I'm pretty sure I used it before as well on one of these if I'm not wrong you guys are just getting getting a flip through of this journal instead <laughs> because I can't find I can't find it. I feel like I've used it a lot. Maybe did I miss it? But anyway, those have been like oof. those have been a favorite for a long time because it's just like just so easy to use, and um, the details on these are pretty amazing. So um, I would recommend you to check them out if you haven't. JNL does like incredible st stamps. One of their um, kind of like flower stamps are my forever favorite. And then she does other things as well, like um, these, and she has one of these, hang on, let me get it out for you. She has one of these like mirror stamps that are really, really lovely as well. But basically, if you really like delicate looking stamps, they're one of my favorite, favorite stamp creator for like delicate type of stamps. So do check them out if that's what you like. And my last favorite is actually a pen. So this is a fountain pen. I'm, I've been researching fountain pens a lot. And I've gotten some, but they're mostly like one of the, the cheaper ones because, um, so I did try it last year for a little bit. And I didn't enjoy it as much because I feel like they dry a lot often. But um, this this year I'm trying to pick it up again, and I just purchased this one. The brand is called Hongdian. So it's a Chinese a pen from China, and I'm not sure which part of China it comes from. But I am very surprised because these are um, quite affordable. I think it's probably around twenty dollars Australian money. So there, it is really not expensive at all compared to some of the punk pens. So, and um, I'm always like, because I actually have a Pilot Metropolitan before, and it's um, it's a little bit scratchy. So I didn't really enjoy that. So I'm these days I'm trying to find um, fountain pens that are a bit more smooth. And this is my predicament, right? I like EF. I like like extra fine nibs because I have small writing and they look better when um, it's like on smaller nib sizes but smaller nib sizes tend to be very scratchy and I don't actually like the scratchiness so I'm still trying to find like a smooth type of it so if you guys uh, if you guys love hunter pens and you know any of like the extra fine that is very smooth and not scratchy do let me know because I'm just like a fountain pen noob or whatever but these I've been really enjoy using because it isn't scratchy and it's quite um, like thin so I'll, I'll like write some stuff to show you guys so what should I write I don't know what should I write <laughs> I'm just gonna use this writing here, okay. I really like smooth ones, so then I can write quite quickly. I know this looks like it's feathering, but it is this paper. This pa this paper tends to feather a bit. If I use another type of paper, let me just grab a scrap paper and write the same thing. I don't think it'll like bleed like that because this. Um, what do you call it? Paper pad 
is very notorious for feathering see how smooth it feels I just really like it and like somehow my pilot metropolitan one feels very heavy this one doesn't feel heavy at all so I'm a, such a fan because these are this is quite affordable but like I really like it like it's from any of the ones that I've bought but I know I've I've only bought cheap ones because I am very scared that if I spend um, a lot of money and I don't know how it writes I, that I'm not gonna like it kind of thing so I'm gonna wait until like there's a pen show in uh, my city or if I can go to like one of the pen shops that lets you kind of like try nibs and stuff So for now, I'm just like trying with like cheaper pens basically So This is how they look like so I actually really like that thickness. This is on EF. I'm pretty sure Does it actually say? Yeah, this in this is EF. I don't know if you can tell, but it actually says EF on that, and it's really smooth. Like it's probably one of the smoothest EF I've tried. But I haven't tried a lot of Honan pens. Take note of that. Um, but I really like this one. So if you're just getting into Honan pens, or if you're curious, you just want one that is not too expensive but still write pretty nice then i recommend this one even though you know what i don't i haven't tried a lot of fun pens so take this with a grain of salt because i'm not like an expert at it but i really enjoyed writing with this compared to the pilot metropolitan that i have because that ef is pretty scratchy that's all the favorites that i have for this month as usual i will be doing a little spread that has all these things in it and my thoughts and stuff you already know this i do that i'm gonna do that in a bit um so i will update you later after i've done that so yeah
So I thought I'll do my update video now But there isn't much things going on I'm still trying to do a lot of things My work has been so busy so I haven't got on time to actually do any shop updates or anything like that But I've been well, my eyes has been healing well And um, I'm just still on, still posting videos I'm still on Instagram, I'm still streaming on Twitch and all those So if you have any questions or if you just want to say hi and stuff Feel free to message me on Instagram. I'll, um, you know, talk to you over there. I don't have that much of a, a update this time, but I'm hoping that I'm gonna have some new stuff next month. Maybe I can't believe it's already like coming into October. Like how fast is this year? I feel like I haven't been productive at all, to be honest. But um, I hope you're always well and taking care and staying creative. And I will see you on my next one. Take care. See you. I did try... Why is there so, many, so much birds? Um, 